Welcome to your Go Market Update and Charts of the Day for today, Friday the 2nd of February. Hope you're well. I'm sure you're looking forward to the weekend. Mike Smith, Senior Analyst at Go Markets, to lead you around what's happening in the markets today as we approach the midpoint of the Asian session. Of course, overnight we saw US markets bounce back on continued earnings optimism and positive manufacturing data, reversing much of the previous day's fed induced damage on the NASDAQ, particularly. Likely to see a continuation of this with Tech stocks reporting after the bell. We had fantastic results from Meta, surged 15%. Amazon also outperformed. Apple disappointed a little bit and were slightly down in after hours trading. But we are expecting a bounce up. We're seeing US futures higher accordingly. And Asian markets generally positive following that US lead. The ASX is up around about 0.9 of a percent at this stage. And European futures are also pointing to a positive open this afternoon. The US dollar index had a fairly significant drop and moved down from that resistance just below the 200 EMA where it's been trading for the last three weeks. It's now at two week lows and consequently, of course, gold had a good day at the office, bounced higher to breach 2050 and now eyeing all time highs. Be interesting to see if there's follow through on that over the next 24 hours. And we're seeing all continue to fall and now move back through that $75 level on the Bitcoin edge higher after a couple of weekdays and trading mid range at this stage. And on the earnings front, it's not a massively busy day, but we have got big oil reporting with Chevron and ExxonMobil due. Obviously, there's a plethora of results next week when things really ramp up. Lots of the industrials reporting next week. Obviously, in the US, as we reported all week, the non-farm payrolls is due. That's the headline act on the data front today. But we've had Australian PPI out already. The year-on-year -year figure was a little warm. Quarterly figure was a little soft. And later on, out of the US, as well as that NFP, we've got US Consumer Center and five-year inflation expectations out of the University of Michigan. A couple of charts that caught our eye today. Well, like in the look of the Australian USD, you can see we had a fairly significant down day yesterday on the Aussie. But by the time the US market had closed, we were actually up for the whole day. And you can see a continuation of that in Asia on USD weakness. We could see this potentially move up around about 40 pips to this 66.25 level. But worthwhile noting that that non-farm payrolls number tonight is likely to affect the USD. So holding over the weekend may not be prudent. On the ASX, we're liking the look of Altium Limited. We put this line in the sun here previously uh, when we're trading around about $48 and breaching the last key level. We've now moved through 5030, which looks significant. And you can see there, this is all time highs. After that big pullback we had at the back end of 2023, the buyers are most certainly in with this. Trade safe and see you again soon. Bye-bye for now.